I think that you, you kind of hit a lot of the things that Florida's looking at. You know, it's funny. I was, I was talking uh, to Brad Crawford from 247 on our podcast on Tuesday. Um, and I feel like Shai Smith is your version of our Andre Debuzz. I just feel like he's been there forever. Mm-hmm. Uh, obviously an incredible player. You know, Florida's going to match up either uh, Marco Wilson or Kyer Elam on him. And they might even, you know, throw a safety uh, over him as well. You know, Florida doesn't want to get beat by, by Shai Smith. Um, I, I think the biggest thing that Florida fans feel comfortable with is that Will Muschamp's still the coach and we know that the offense is going to struggle, right? With that being said, Florida will need to make sure that they don't get lazy, that they don't overlook this game. Uh, Florida has Texas A&M next week. Uh, they're going to travel out to College Station. Uh, you know, the swamp won't quite be the same. I think they're going to have 17,000 fans, and there's still, I think, 3,000 tickets available. So their ability to get up, it's a noon game. Pardon me. So Florida will have to show up. However, I do think that Florida is the more talented team, and I do think that this is Florida's best shot to make a national championship run since Dan Mullen has been here and probably in the, first, you know, in the last 10 years. And then I don't think that they have the ability to do it next year. So if Florida's going to really want to make that, that national championship or, or even college football playoff run, this is going to be the year. And, you know, I, I think a lot of fans and, you know, the team is really rallying behind Kyle Trask on offense. And I think that they really want to show that they are better than they were on defense last game. Um, you know, Florida's able to learn a lot. I think that your defense, South Carolina's defense, is going to get better just by the nature of having another game. You guys have played Will Musch, or pardon me, you guys have played Dan Mullen uh, before before Will Muschamp has, you know, scouted this game for the last, you know, two years. And then when you guys played Mississippi State. So you guys have some film on them. You know, Florida isn't going to change their offense from, you know, previous years. Whereas Florida doesn't have a lot of film on Mike Bobo. Obviously, you know, when he was previously at Colorado State, you can watch that with Colin Hill as his quarterback. But at the end of the day, Florida, you know, feels very comfortable uh, in this game. I think 18 and a half points in any game is a lot, especially in the SEC. You know, I have Florida winning by 14 or 17 points. Um, I think that Florida is going to probably start quick. And I think that unless South Carolina is able to go blow for blow on offense, which I I probably think that that would be an unlikely scenario, it's going to really take South Carolina to really be able to stop Kyle Trask uh, from moving the football in, in order to stand a chance. But, you know, I think, I think Florida runs away with this game starting in the second quarter and, you know, it, it might get close towards the end, but I, I like Florida by, you know, 14, 17 points. 